But the ones in the U.S. are your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Always. All right, Simone, we'll start right here in front of the white. Hi. Oh, hi. Yeah, I feel like my why is nobody's forcing me to do it. Um, I wake up every day and choose to grind in the gym and um, come out here and perform for myself just to, re just to remind myself that I can still do it. So I feel like that's my why. Danielle and Emily and Will. <coughs> I feel like success is just what I make it. Um, I feel like right now I've been successful um, of competing at Olympic trials, making the Paris Olympic team. So then we'll see from there on out. Emily? It's what I make it. Yeah. 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 It's, it's amazing. Um, I feel like we work better as a team when we both have Cecile and Laurent. Um, but, you know, it just goes to show how amazing of coaches they are that we have three going to Paris. And um, it's just super exciting. I mean, I don't think my mom ever ma imagined in a million years we'd send three to an Olympic Games whenever she opened up the gym. So I think um, out of everybody, she's the most proud and in awe. Will and then Scott. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. Um, I think whenever we did interviews earlier, um, I was like, yeah, this is definitely our redemption tour. I feel like we all have more to give, and our Tokyo performances weren't the best. We weren't under the best circumstances either, but um, I feel like we have a lot of weight on our shoulders to go out there and prove that we're better athletes, we're more mature, we're smarter, we're more consistent. Um, but don't quote me on that because not tonight. But, you know, we have to get that out of the way. You feel me? We have to get that out of the way. Um, but we are in training. So if we can just do what we do in training, then I think I think we're going to hit it out the ballpark. We're going to go Scott and then back to the Star Tribune. Yeah. Uh, Simone, I noticed that you have Allie and Mercy, mm -hmm. and she was the grandma mm -hmm. and the queen. Mm -hmm. like yeah. Yes. Yes. So now um, I definitely have to apologize to Allie um, <laughs> calling her grandma because woo, I feel like I'm way older now um, than me calling her grandma when we were younger. And, you know, it's what, 11. So it's definitely past my bedtime. So I know Allie would be cracking up right now. Um, but yeah, it is it is crazy. I'm a lot older. I'm more mature. Um, what was the rest of the question? See, I'm forgetting. <laughs> oh, the recovery. Yes, the recovery. I definitely have to take care of recovery mentally, physically. Um, after classics, I swore I couldn't walk. I was like hobbling um, to the plane. So that was exciting. After championships, um, I felt a little bit better. And after day one of trials, I was actually surprised I could walk. So I was like, whoa, I'm actually not as sore. I'm not hurting. So uh, it takes a big part. So recovery. I just have to take a little bit more serious. Back in Rio, I could do anything. I'd never needed tape, nothing. I was just like a little hamster on a wheel, <laughs> always running. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah, it's amazing. I think it's super exciting that we get to be in each other's elements and supporting each other's dreams and goals. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's these memories that we make that we'll never get back. So anytime we can show up for one another and support, we just get super excited because our schedules don't align that much. Um, so whenever it does, it's really important for the both of us to show up and support. Yes, the Bears are actually granting him a couple days off um, from training camp, so he'll be there, yes, for just a, for just a short little time. Oh, over there, and then Nancy and Juliet. Oh, absolutely. Yes. 
Well, I think everybody probably looks at the team as, okay, they went to Tokyo and this, this, and this happened, and what are they going to do here in Paris? But for us, I know we're stronger than what we showed in Tokyo, so I think it has to be for us because it can't be for anybody else because that's not why we do it. We do it for ourselves and the love for the sport and the love for representing the U.S. So we're going to go out there and we're going to do our best. Nancy, then Juliet. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's really exciting. Um, I can't believe that we'll be heading to Paris very shortly. Um, I never pictured going to another Olympic Games after Tokyo just because of the circumstances. I never thought I would go back in the gym again, be twisting, feel free. Um, so it's actually really exciting, I think, for all of us and our whole entire team. And that's just not like my teammates. I feel like that's coaches, that's the medical staff, that's therapists, all of that stuff, um, because it really does take a village. So I think we're just all in awe of what I'm doing. And I feel like even for myself, I'm like, oh, my gosh, I'm still doing it. I'm still capable. Um, so let's go. Juliet. Yeah. Girl, I would have been out of there. No. Um, actually... I, if it would have gone my way, I actually think I'd be crazy enough to be sitting right here again. <laughs> yeah, so. Ari, then Patricia. Affirmations. I feel like I'm going to TikTok right now. I'm nervous. <laughs> um, affirmations. Actually, no, they're all explicit. I can't really <laughs> say them, actually. <laughs> So take what you will with that. Patricia. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We're definitely going to guide her through um, the ropes. We've been there before. We've done it. She's young. I mean, she can't even drive. Should we teach her how to drive before she gets to Paris? Like, geez, she's so young. She's so cute. She's so smart. She's beautiful. Um, we're really proud of her for making this team, and we're really excited to kind of show her the ropes, and at least she doesn't have to do it alone. She has four veterans that have been there before, so... We'll take just a few more questions. I'm going to try to call on, okay, Will and then people, mm -hmm. although you're just a person. Yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't even matter if I do it. They'll still say, like, oh, my gosh, are you going to quit again? Are you going to quit again? And, like, and if I did, what are you going to do about it? Tweet me some more. Like, I've already dealt with it for three years. Um, but, yeah, they want to see us fail. I mean, it. it's – they want to see the rise to success. And then as soon as you get it and you kind of take that and run with it and you start reigning for a really long time, they want to see the, the downfall, which is really unfortunate because – sports hasn't seen athletes like we've seen before so you really have to give them their flowers in the sport because once they're gone you're going to miss them it's going to be just three more questions people and then we're going to give someone in the back a chance <laughs> I feel like everybody wants to know what's next but what's next is gold over America tour so in the fall we're really excited about it okay TV in back yep Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we've all been pretty open and honest what we're going through. Um, even SUNY earlier, I'm not going to call you out, but she came up to me and she was like, I'm not okay. And so, you know, we walk through it. We tell her her why, um, why she's doing it. And we just give her those reminders that she can do it. She's done it before. So let's go out there and get it. But we're always going to prioritize mental health. And I think that's really nice that Tokyo gave us that opportunity to open up that stage for that talk. And so I think now athletes are a little bit more in tune and we trust um, what our gut is saying and just taking mental health a little bit more serious. And last question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much. I wouldn't be here without all of you. Um, I'm very gracious that I have such a sweet and supportive fan base. And I say fan base, but I really mean family because it really does take a village. So each and every comment that I see or tweet or um, parents instagrams that are like oh my gosh my daughter's wearing your leo she's so excited this that the other it's just really exciting and it warms my heart and i see most of it but it just keeps me um it keeps me running all right i'm supposed to ask this question it just came yeah. through on my watch have you seen taylor swift's tweet yes i have actually um i retweeted it earlier she's so sweet i've been able to meet her a couple times and um, i can't thank her enough for what she's done for the girl community okay. thank you Simone. congratulations enjoy thank your you night guys. Uh, for the...